Hello, my name is Christopher Levero, and I am a proud patriot of this great nation. I would like to address the recent controversy where former President Trump spoke to a group of black female journalists, where he accused Vice President Kamala Harris of turning black for political gain. She was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? Now, we all have our opinions, on whether or not President Trump really just doesn't understand that biracial people can embrace both aspects of their heritage at different times and in different ways. Or he was just being a hateful racist pig or whatever conclusions you wanna come up with. But just in case President Trump really doesn't understand the complexities of being multi-ethnic, I'm sharing this video with you that speaks to what it's like to grow up biracial. Uh, just pick one. Just, just pick one. Uh, just pick one. Growing up in a multi-ethnic family, I would always get into arguments with my teachers at the beginning of every school year when we had to fill out forms requiring us to check a box for our ethnicity. I would always ask what to do because I'm half Guamanian and I'm half Italian. Do I check Pacific Islander and check white or do I check other and just write both in? Just pick one, the teachers would always say. But I'm not just one thing. I would respond. It doesn't really matter, they would say with frustration, just pick one. But if it doesn't really matter, then why are we bothering to fill out the form, I would ask. Uh, just uh, pick white, one of them would say. But what does white really mean? I mean, I'm half Italian, I guess that's white, but my mother is ethnically Chamorro and speaks a language that almost no one's ever heard of. Just pick one or the other, but you can't pick both, they would say. And on and on we would go back and forth. And as a little kid, I could never understand why we had to put each other in a nice, convenient little box. Does it make people who don't look like you less threatening? Does it make a culture that you don't understand less confusing? You know, as an adult, I can look back and I understand now why I was so defiant with my teachers. They wanted to restrict who I am. They wanted to restrict my identity. And I wanted to embrace all parts of my heritage because I was extremely proud, I am extremely proud of both sides of the family. You see, my mother survived the occupation on Guam during World War II. And what a lot of people don't know is there was a small contingent of American sailors on Guam before the invasion. And my grandfather was the ringleader of the Guamanian families who hid these Americans in the underground to safeguard them from the Japanese. Well, the Japanese army found out about this and they captured my grandfather and tortured him almost to death. But they could never understand why he held up under torture. Well, Guamanians are very, very, very Catholic. And as it turns <laughs> out, I have a cousin who's a Catholic priest who was sending messages to my grandfather giving him the moral courage to hold out under torture. And the Japanese found out about him. So to make an example to the whole village, they paraded him around, set him down on his knees, blindfolded him, and beheaded him with a samurai sword. Now, I tell you this story not to shock you, but because of how the story ends. You see, growing up, none of my family held any resentment towards the Japanese. Even my grandfather, who was brutalized and tortured, refused to hold on to any hate after the war. So this is the thing. Why can't we see each other as just wonderfully, beautifully different and special, no matter who we are, where we're from, or what language we speak? And when people don't do that, 
and they're blinded by hate and ignorance, I take a breath and I think of my grandfather and his forgiveness and I'm overwhelmed by pride. So when someone says, just pick one, I say, screw that, pick them all or don't pick any. You are who you are, embrace it. Love yourself and love each other. Now I'm trying to not be partisan. I'm not telling you how to vote. I'm simply sharing with you the stakes as I see them and I hope that you vote accordingly. God bless.